Can I please say that if you're lazy like me, comparison is a thief of joy and that is why I never like to compare things side by side. But today is a different kind of comparison, which I think will be a win-win to all the users of these two softwares. Hi everyone, I know you don't care about who I am but about the content of this video and that's why I will not introduce myself but if later you care enough, please check out my bio and subscribe. Ah, uh, not to be overly dramatic but welcome to the ultimate showdown of the two of the most popular mobile video editors on the market at the moment. I've had everybody use this. You're using at least one of them and if you're not, I don't know what else you're doing but this is what you should know. Today we are going to be comparing InShot and light cut editor side by side to see a bit of the things that compare and are different for these two and how best you can use them. Many creative social media enthusiasts and a bunch of videographers are using these videos both for just personal use and professionally so I really advise you to stick around and let us get into the weaknesses and the strength of both of these video editors for you. First things first, let's start with the user interface of both of these tools. InShot has a very user-friendly interface, which is very good for everyone who is starting out. InShot offers an easy timeline navigation where you can find all the items that you need and have access to filters, effects and transitions, volumes, as you can see here, without really going deep into looking for things. So I think that is really a good thing about it. Now let's see the interface of LightCut. LightCut is also user friendly and one would say they have a complex interface, but personally I think it's even much easier than the interface of InShot. It offers a bit of automated editing options and because it's an AI driven tool, it helps you create a lot of dynamic videos in just a very short period of time and with very minimal effort. There is really nothing deep to say about the interface, so let's get into the features of both of these tools. InShot offers a lot of basic to moderate editing features, including trimming, splitting, adding audios, having filters, transitions, and they have a lot of uncopyrighted music, which is very nice to have. If you're starting out and do not have the money to purchase all this nice music on the different platforms, you can see that you have a wide range of choice for a few of the things you may need because it's nicely categorized and you cannot fail to find something here to use in your video. Among the other great features they have is the ratios. They offer a bunch of them so that you can easily have something compatible to any social media. So if you are posting on TikTok or Instagram or even YouTube, you can easily do this with InShot because the rate ratios are readily available. Don't even get me started with the stickers. Of all the tools that I've used, InShot has the most stickers and they are always optimized and updated frequently. So if you need any effects, any stickers, they are readily available and always always updated now let's talk about light cut this is an ai driven tool and therefore they emphasize allowing the tool to create some videos for you depending on the footage that you have on your device or your phone the app can automatically generate very nice videos in a very short period of time and i myself have created a few videos there in less than 10 seconds which i really love there are also some unique features like short lab which are highly on a professional level edit and they're only one click away when you're using light cut but you have to have recorded this footage with their devices especially the drones because this app integrates easily with the dji drones it's very very easy to edit any area footage that you take with your drone i find this very amusing because the things that come out of those edits are always top notch and highly professional another feature that lightcut has is the inspire cam which helps you record videos and edit them depending on the exact things that were directed to them by you. As you can see, they will tell you, for example, if you're recording a baby video, this, shoot that, shoot that, and then they'll combine it together and how many shots you need and you have a, a, a video that is ready to go. 
Now let's talk about the platform compatibility. Lightcut is a mobile app and is both on Android and iOS and is more often used in companion with DJI products, which is a little bit of a setback for anyone who is just trying to use their phone. But it works really nicely with the footage on your phone as well. Once you are done editing your footage on the Lightcut app, you can always share it onto any of your social medias and they will give you a recommendation at the bottom to show that you can share this footage anywhere you are ready to share it. DJI says that Lightcut can be used on iPads, but it has been a hassle and tussle because I've had multiple people say that it doesn't work correctly on their iPads and this is a bit of a problem. When we look at InShot in terms of platform compatibility, they do have a desktop version and this makes it a bit easier to edit even longer videos. If you're doing something of one minute, it should be fine on your mobile phone, but you are, if you're editing a video of 10 minutes or one hour, I think it's always nice to have a desktop version. InShot is primarily a mobile app, so it's available on both Android and iOS, and I know that very many InShot users only use it mostly with the mobile phone, so the desktop version is not popular, but I have tried it myself and it still works seamlessly, just like the mobile version. And now we start with the performance of these apps. I have to say that InShot is designed for everybody who wants to edit something on the go and therefore their performance is always nice and easy and fast because even if you have low specs, they'll still get something out for you in a very short time. And I believe that Lightcut does not have this because their main focus as an AI video editing tool is high end featured items so because you can use a drone and all these pockets their processing and rendering can take a little bit of time because they do care about the quality of the videos that are being released even if they were recorded by your phone this is an ai tool we have to remember so it really does everything to some specifics all in all, when it comes to performance and rendering, if you did use your phone, they are both good for on the go and it will happen fast. If you used another device, then I would suggest that you keep using Lightcut, but just know that your videos will take a bit of time to be rendered. Both of these apps are integrated with the different social media platforms and with InShot, you can always export directly to TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, or whatever you want. This is the same for Lightcut, but they do have a problem with considering very high quality and cinematic footage. So in the end, if you recorded a video, let's say in a landscape um, format, it is hard to really turn it into a portrait without killing all of the nice features that you already had in there. And that's the difference between Lightcut and InShot when you're directly exporting your footage from the app to the social media platforms. To summarize everything we have said, and if we were in a battle and we have to really choose a winner depending on all the things that we have said, I would say that InShot would win when it comes to the user friendliness of the app because it is very nice for beginners and it is very nice for anybody who does not know how to record footage and put it together nicely but it gives you a very decent interface which you can use to take time and all these basic features are all in there even if the app has to be paid for sometimes but for the beginner level all these things are free and they can make a very pro video if you learn how to use them if you watched this video on my channel and you're wondering why I didn't choose Lightcut as the best for editing, I have to say that when it comes to those short videos, Lightcut will really create a nice video for you, but you have to already have the footage and somewhat you have to be a bit skilled to choose out the very catchy parts of that video for you to get something really nice out of it. When it comes to AI automation, then automatically Lightcut wins this one because the app can intelligently piece together the footage and make something nice out of it. In addition to that, you will get very nice polished and sophisticated videos without any manual effort sometimes or very little manual input. So with that, AI for the win. When we come to the social media integration part, we already explained and InShot would win this one. They are really very much integrated in all the social platforms with all the different ratios and very good quality still. So 
in short both of these tools have very good features but overall InShot has a large user base and they easily get feedback quickly and that's why they have even more updates all the time than what you would see with LightCut. LightCut still has um, a very small but growing community of users and they're also focused on the very things they like so like drones or using high-end material for filming and just high-end footage basically. I would say most people think LightCut has been niched out because it says it's the official DJI tool, but it can be used with your phone, any phone, Android or iOS, with just the footage on that device. So it does not have to automatically be a user with any of their products. In conclusion, if you were to choose a winner between InShot and light cut i really think it would really highly depend on the value and the needs of your editing if your video is really for social media then in short would automatically win that but if you're a professional and you're using devices and you want something with a bit of more advanced features then light cut would be the app for you and therefore i think it's a win-win there is no actual winner but if we focus mainly on the crowd and we say social media creators, they will always choose in short. And those who are professionally editing will always choose light cut. Can I please say that if you're lazy like me, you will always go to an AI tool because come on, the automation is nice and it will choose out the best parts of your videos without any hassle. In the end, it all comes down to your creative needs, but let me know in the comments what you would choose and what would bring your vision to life between these two tools. For now, this is the end of the video and if you cared enough to stay until the end, please just subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.